This is Jamie with Stonemeyer Games, and I am here today to talk about my favorite game mechanism in A Feast for Odin by Uwe Rosenberg. This is Rosenberg's latest game. It was released at Essen Spiel a few weeks ago, and I got the chance to play it, um, thanks to my friend Josh, last week, and I had a lot of fun. I've been thinking about it a lot ever since. I want to play it again. It's one of those games with many, many choices, many, many interesting choices um, that make me want to play again. Now, my favorite mechanism in this game um, actually, I should, I should first preface this by saying that I generally do not like feeding mechanisms in games. Um, there are games like Stone Age where feeding is pretty easy, and it's just something that you have to do every now and then. There are games that are almost built around the idea of feeding, like Agricola, also by Uwe Rosenberg. And uh, that's I, I don't always enjoy that, because it's, it's kind of a punishing aspect of a game that you just have to put up with, you have to find a good engine to figure it out which can be very satisfying once you figure out that engine um, or if you get a lot of food early in, in, uh, in Stone Age. Um, but, uh, but it's not always fun for me. Feast of Odin solves that problem in a brilliant way. That's, it's probably in some other game, but for me, I think this is the first time I've ever seen a feeding, feeding mechanism used so effectively in a game. Um, in A Feast for Odin, one of the main resources you use throughout the game are these tiles. So the tiles are, are multi-purpose. There are they're things that you do with the tiles, like some of the actions you take require tiles. You gotta turn one tile in to get something else. Um, the tiles are placed on your player mat at different times to, uh, to get points or, or to not lose points or to get income. So these tiles are doing all kinds of things. And often, uh, the tiles, you'll need to upgrade the tiles. So like in certain places you can only place green or blue tiles, you can't place orange or red tiles. So you have to upgrade the orange or red tiles into green or blue tiles so that you can actually place them. The feeding mechanism also involves these tiles in that at the end of every round, you need to cover up a certain number of places um, at your table. You're essentially feeding your, your people. Um, you have to cover them up with these tiles, with um, orange or red tiles, and I think you can use money as well. Um, money is kind of a, a catch-all. You can always use it in to fill in different places on your player map. And uh, so you're using these tiles to fill in these spots on the, on the table, and the table, the places that you have to fill in on the table get bigger every round um, because you're adding more and more workers to your crew. But the brilliant aspect of that this um, is that the game gives you these tiles every round, except for, I think, two rounds. So there's a harvest at the beginning of most rounds, and during the harvest you get some orange and red tiles. And these tiles, I, I haven't done the math, I don't have the game here, my friend has it, but I believe that they will completely cover your ability to feed your people throughout the game. So you never need to go out of your way to get food for the purpose of feeding. But, as I mentioned, these tiles are used for many other things. So even though the game is giving you this food that you can use to feed if you want to, effectively making feeding not a, a, not a problem at all in the game. You have the food that you need. But there are so many other reasons, that you, so many other ways that you can use these tiles almost more effectively. Um, to, to, you know, to use them elsewhere on, on your player mats, on, on other mats you can acquire. There are many uses for these tiles. So the game is just giving you an abundance of food to use, but the interesting choice is, do you use that for food, or which tiles do you use for food, and which of those tiles do you use for some other purpose? Or do you use many of the tiles for some other purpose, and then you go out of your way to take actions to get food tiles elsewhere in the game? It's, it's a wonderful way to build a feeding mechanism into the game. Um, this idea of abundance that you can that provides a branching path of interesting decisions rather than start rather than scarcity and and making you make many many choices in the game to figure out how to deal with that scarcity it's it's, it's brilliant um, and I, I really really love this aspect of a feast for Odin if you can think of another game that does this uh, with with a feeding mechanism I'd love to hear about it in the comments or if you have a favorite mechanism in A Feast for Odin that you'd like to share, I'd also like to hear that as well. Thanks.